Hello everyone, it's August 26th, 2018. Anyway, um, this is an update of the railroad. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, that Pete's finished the uh, painting of the backdrops for the most part. Might have him do a few more things, but I'll uh, actually show him doing uh, some painting. Hopefully uh, I can download that. Uh, also, he cut out some uh, pink foam to make rock formations. I'll show you a little bit of that. Uh, and it may be a couple little construction methods that I used during the process of putting the layout up. So, uh, anyway, uh, here we go. So, um, you can see uh, upper and lower decks also have the uh, painting done for the most part. Uh, and uh, we're coming up in the Gettysburg here. Uh, I have a couple structures in this area that um, I'm starting to work on. So, we're starting to get those into place. Um, and Pete, you can see, painted a nice little sunset in the background there for me. <clears throat> and um, as we come along, one of the really neat things that we we did here was um, we took a realistic backdrop, uh, and Pete painted a backdrop in the, the the background, and then we took the realistic backdrop and we glued it on the front. So there's the farm. It's right in that area, the farm and the buildings are the realistic backdrop. And then that's uh, Blue Fruit Shop's, um, uh, you know, cornfield there. So that looks pretty cool. <coughs> so, uh, excuse me. And um, so anyway, uh, I got to do a lot of work on the fascia. But uh, you can also see that uh, Pete's done, you know, this down here in uh, Spring Grove. He's painted the scenery down in there. So, um, but I really need to finish the top scenery before I actually do uh, any work on the bottom. Uh, even though the, the up here on the top in Gettysburg is uh, pretty much done now. So, um, and then as we turn around to the helix here, <clears throat> uh, Pete has, uh, I couldn't really decide how to hide the helix here, so what we decided to do is uh, use a rock cut here. It doesn't exist in the real world, but it's my railroad. Um, so you can see this is where Pete painted that pink foam. Uh, looks pretty cool. Just a two-inch piece of pink foam. And in the background is in the backdrop behind the helix. I decided to put a couple industries back in there. So um, I added those in. Uh, I have to throw a switch machine back there because I haven't quite gotten around to doing that yet. Um, and then I finally uh, have put the tracks in here. This will be the Utz potato chip factory here. And, uh, and then I'll finish off this uh, retaining wall here as concrete. Uh, and also the uh, change this tunnel port over to uh, like a concrete box culvert instead of that. That's just really a placeholder. So um, not a whole lot of changes here. Uh, down in the rest of the area, I uh, had uh, started to put in a uh, grade crossing detection here from Rail Logic, um, or Logic Rail, I'm sorry, uh, and I uh, had a little issue with it. I need to contact them and uh, find out what I did wrong. Um, anyway, putting in a parking lot here, I actually did that yesterday. Um, and I do have some lights here that I put into this. Uh, area here from Woodland Scenics. I just don't have them turned on now. There we go. So uh, a couple street lights and lights above the uh, loading dock doors. Uh, things there in that area. So um, anyway there's really not a whole lot of change in this area here. Um, with golf and uh, a couple of minor surgeries I had um, haven't had a chance to really get down here too much. Um, I think I'll also include a little bit, a little clip of an operating session I had with a, a group called Harms from the Hereford County, Maryland area. Um, so, a uh, great group of guys. Uh, so anyway, uh, you can see Pete had already painted all this area. He may have uh, spruced up the clouds a little bit more. That's about it. Um, and uh, so you can see, and I think the last time uh, Pete had only done a blob um, in the area over here, which we call the turn lights on here too. 
Um, so, but it was right down in this area here that uh, I'll get down here, right in this area where I said Pete had painted a blob. So, as you can see, he's now finished that area off. That looks really good. And uh, as you can see, I need to put the fence back up. <clears throat> uh, so, anyway, and then I also did this uh, tobacco barn type of thing here. I just wanted to be a dilapidated barn. That I, that I put in after Pete had finished his painting and then used uh, Model Tech Studios uh, banded truck to just add some interest to the area. I got some other little details I need to add. Um, kind of gives you and this and the static grass I used. A friend of mine built uh, used a, um, YouTube and saw a way to build a static grass applicator using an electric fly swatter and uh, a sieve. So, uh, looks really good and it works really great. And he said it cost it eight dollars to make. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, so you can see where Pete's uh, finished the area here. Back up so you can see the clouds. A um, little hard area to do just because of the angles of the, of the uh, you know, the wall angles that you can really make that blend in right. So, you can see Hager standing in the background. Uh, and I've added some more trees here, and, and uh, Pete's done his painting in that area. Uh, he's done a really neat job. Uh, and getting it painted, once again, there's Howard Zine's uh, structure that he gave me. I greatly appreciate that. And um, the farm back there. Now, I finally got the water in the stream uh, here, which turned out really nice. Um, and then Pete painted a little waterfall in the background, a little hard to see, but um, and I, I used uh, Envirotex here and clear silicone caulk and a little bit of dry brushing and white paint to get the little rapids right there. So um, that worked out pretty cool. Um, let's see, overall the, the place looks really remarkable now. Um, really captured that feel of the Pennsylvania foothills. So, uh, and then this area here was um, you know, where we've, we've always done this uh, in all my, <laughs> this is the first area I've seen it, so, um, but I don't really have, I haven't done much other, uh, things. I did, I think I mounted some, some of the, um, photo backdrops on the lower level, um, just to, uh, you know, give me a feel for where they are. They're not fully mounted in there yet, uh, just placeholders at this point. And you can see really haven't done much. Uh, other than that, um, on the lower deck. So, but uh, it's all coming along uh, slowly but surely. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited. And the railroad, for the most part, runs pretty good. As, as we all know, when we run our railroads, we have our issues with coupler heights or a little electrical contacts every once in a while. But for the most part, the railroad really does run well. So, uh, I hope my friends agree to that. <laughs> So, but uh, I think it's really going to come off well when I get this uh, lower deck started. Um, but uh, you can see it's uh, really taking shape now. Um, there'll be all photographs back there uh, on the backdrop. I sort of have a placeholder here for the Lehigh cement plant, which I may have mentioned before. Um, I have some more power sitting in, in here. So, uh, like I say, we're really getting there. And uh, I think what I'll do is uh, I'll go ahead. I got a cutaway. I want to show you the porter siding next, um, which uh, I have to walk around the other side to get to there. So what I'm going to do is just stop this video and uh, and then transition into another one. So this is porter siding, uh, where we're Pete's finished the painting in here. Uh, this is a really difficult area for him to get to here. It's just hard to get into because it's such a narrow opening to get down to. And then Pete also was able to paint here, and he's right-handed. It was almost impossible for him to get in and do the, the painting because he's, <laughs> you know, he needed to be left-handed really to get that to work. But he seemed to pull it off really well, um, so that's uh, pretty neat. And then what I'm going to do is pan up here and give you kind of a, a view from this angle. I don't think uh, I've shown that before. This is a bridge that I'm working on, on uh, just above the siding, and this is a 
area near Gettysburg. You'll see Gettysburg from this angle here um, as we're coming along in this area. And, uh, and the upper deck's getting fairly well done. You know, I got a lot of work to do over in Upper Hanover with structures mainly um, that I have to build. So I have a hard time getting myself motivated on that sometimes. So, but there's a kind of an overall view of that. So um, I'll show you uh, just the next little transition. We'll show you, you know, one of my how I uh, hang the upper deck or what methods I use for that. So be back in a second. So what we uh, what I've done here to hang the upper deck is I've attached a two by two to the wall and then used carpenter squares to uh, attach the upper deck. So what I did was ran the, the uh, carpenter square down the uh, two by two. I drilled some holes uh, in both L's of the legs of the L to uh, attach the wood and put a screw in to attach to the wood. And then I used a one by two uh, here to, to give me a place to attach the uh, upper deck, the, the mason, masonite to the top, and then with the pink foam on top of that. So uh, that's essentially how I've hooked the upper deck. I did a lot of research and finally came across this in one of the magazines where somebody had used this. And it's really, really strong, and it uh, you get your 90 degree angle for sure. Uh, and that's the uh, logic rail board. I'm having a little issue with it. It did get hot when I hooked it up, so I've got a feeling that obviously I hooked the polarity uh, up backwards somehow. So uh, I just need, to, like I say, send them a picture of that and ask what I did wrong. So um, anyway, uh, that's that section here. And um, like I say, I'll try and throw in uh, Pete doing some painting and doing the cutting of the uh, pink foam and then also a little bit of the operating session. So. I hope you guys all, guys and girls all, have a wonderful fall, which is coming up. Uh, we had a nice summer here in Maryland, and um, hope you all take care, and uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. found something out there. I can't paint left handed. Hmm. That can't be dexterous, huh? See, when that gets painted, that's going to look kind of neat. To so the chaos of the uh, operating session uh, with uh, my friend from the Harms. Perfect guy here in the lower area. Just a side issue thing. And uh, all of a sudden, the jumps back. Guys, all paired off to uh, run trains together. Using the JMRI switch list. Switch is a good thing. 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 He belongs on the two. So yeah, I should have, we should have kept this car on. You want to break it and pull it out and do something else with it? Yeah, let me see. Yep, what the hell is Uh, Bear with me. I'm not sure.
He's not the only one that said that. Thank you. 